Earlier this week, via our social media pages, we shared the news that the NYPD officer accused of fatally choking Eric Gardner in 2014 has been fired. Last month, Attorney General William Barr declined to bring federal charges against the officer. Warning, this audio contains violence. Listener discretion is advised. I'm minding my business. Please just leave me alone. I told you the last time. Please just leave me alone. Please, please, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Please. Don't touch me. 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 Eric Gardner was only 43 years old. We will be going for the congressional hearings. We will be trying to reopen the case. We will be going after the rest of the officers involved because it's not over. Justice for New York City means Pantaleo is fired and there's no murdering cop on the police force. So, Commissioner O'Neill, while we appreciate you making your decision, we are definitely still calling for the Eric Gardner law which will ban the chokehold, which will ban officers being protected by a shield and not held accountable for their actions. Eric Garner was killed five years ago. It took five years for the officer to be fired. I don't want another Eric Garner. That was Eric Gardner's daughter, Emerald Gardner. His other daughter, Erica Gardner, died at the age of 27 in 2017 due to cardiac arrest. This is your Melanin News Update. From the Root.com and the L.A. Times, California Governor Gavin Newsom has signed Assembly Bill 392. It is being called the strictest police use of force laws in the country. The law states that law enforcement only use deadly force when necessary instead of the current verbiage of when it is reasonable. The law will prohibit police from firing on fleeing felons who do not pose an immediate danger an update from the original policies that date back to the late 1800s. Prosecutors will be able to consider actions of both police officers and the victims leading up to a deadly encounter. The bill is called the Stephon Clark Law. Former Texas Longhorn and NFL running back Cedric Benson has died. Reports say Benson was driving at a high speed on a motorcycle before crashing into a van that would kill him and his 27-year-old female passenger. Benson was a four-year starter for the Longhorns before being drafted fourth overall by the Chicago Bears in 2005. From the Black Educated and Broke Newsroom, I'm Mike B, and these are your headlines. 